guys, it's Deepika, and today's video, I am using all brands and products founded by women of color. I'm super excited. So some of these products I've actually never tried. A lot of them are OG favorites of mine and I'm kind of compiling it all together. They are doing some incredible things and some of these are friends of mine. Some of these are founded by mentors of mine and I'm really excited to share this look with you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the button down below. I appreciate you so much. Can't believe I'm doing a makeup tutorial. It's been a minute, but let's do this. So I've moisturized my skin. It is hydrated. And the first thing I'm gonna do is correct. And obviously, the Live Tinted E Stick, founded by me. Hi, what's up? And I'm gonna just lightly use it under my eye, like so. Boop, 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 boop. You know, through the years, I feel like around, under my eye has gotten better in terms of the hyperpigmentation. It's very interesting. But around my mouth, hasn't gotten to the same place. Then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender, which is also founded by a woman of color, Rianne Silva, amazing dear friend of mine, and a genius for creating this iconic sponge. Little pro tip, Beauty Blender also has this redo, set, and refresh spray. Um, I'm just gonna use it to wet the blender and get it extra moist. All right, all right, all right. Now we're gonna go in with foundation. And I am going to use the Pat McGrath, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation because it's my favorite and it is also founded by a legend. You may have heard of her. This foundation is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't already seen my full review of it, go check it out. It is just to me the perfect type of coverage. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. Um, just somewhere in between like a tinted moisturizer and a foundation. And it just gives like the perfect like glow to your skin. I met her at New York Fashion Week years ago in New York City. And I was like really nervous because she's Pat McGrath and a really big deal. Okay, talking and blending is, uh, it's an art form, but we're gonna try. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I was like, oh, like I'd love to take a picture together after I like asked her about her inspiration for the shoot. And she was super nice when I asked for a selfie and I like put it right here and she was like, no darling, it's all about angles and she like lifted the phone up and then we like took our picture. You can still see pores. It's just a great, I just like, I don't know how to explain it except for just the right amount of coverage. Okay, next up I am trying a brand new product also from Beauty Blender. It's my first time using this ever. So like I said, Rianne is a friend I've been had for eight years. I met her when I worked at Birchbox in New York City so that was when I was 22 and now I'm 20 and now I'm 30. So eight years ago, um, it's really cool to see how they went from this to now launching these concealers. So they specifically designed this, I know, to have a specific applicator. It's like flat on one side and rounded on the other side. I'm gonna go in with the flat side. Okay, this seems like a thick one, so I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm gonna use the rounded side and see what I can roll with. I'm not a fan of thick concealers these days because with the Hue Stick, you don't really need a lot of concealer, you know? It's really just to brighten under your eye rather than conceal. So this concealer seems thicker for me, so I'm going in with a, a light hand. So this is what it looks like using 3.7 Tan Honey. I'm obsessed with the color and underneath my eye looks nice and glowy. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter. I'm um, in the shade yellow. Beauty Bakery is a brand that I think has done some really incredible things, so I definitely wanna shout them out. If I was using this in my normal day-to-day -day life, I would not be using it to bake. I would just use a light layer of it with a brush. This is probably really gross, but I got this brush when I was 16 years old. Why do I still have it? I, I'm like hooked, it's MAC 150. Actually, I wasn't even 16, you guys. I was 14. And I still have this brush. I'm pretty sure that's not sanitary, but um, it's a really good brush. So I use the Beauty Blender to set it underneath my eye, but I, I'm just not a baker, honestly. So I'm just gonna take a light layer of the Beauty Bakery powder and fluff it on my skin to set the foundation. I'm going to fill my brows with Wander Beauty. It's the dark brown um, brow pencil. So the founder of Wander Beauty, one of the two founders, her name is Divya Gagnani. She is a South Asian woman. 
And Vivian and I met when I was in New York, maybe when I was 25 years old. Somebody told me I had to get a meeting with her, that she was this like girl boss Indian woman who invests in a lot of people. And I think I had just left my job at Birchbox and I like was looking for guidance. She was just like a massive girl boss. I met her at the Upper West Side and it was just like, oh wow, hello woman I aspire to one day be. And that was like right when Wander Beauty was launching. I don't even think it had at that point. And it's again, really crazy to see how much that brand has grown. It's just crazy. Nice. They're not twins, they're sisters. Obviously you can't do a video about women of color founded brands without including Fenty. I am going to use their matchstick and truffle. This has been a contour that I've used regularly. It has like a little bit of like a cream to powdery finish to it. It's just a little off in color from what I would use on myself like normally and I wish it was slightly thinner. That said, I love Fenty and everything it stands for. And this is a contour product that I use pretty regularly. Just frame my face, do a little three action, and then blend it out. I usually use either this or the KKW Beauty. Obviously everything Rihanna has done with her platform is incredible. I just remember when I was like first doing investor pitches, they would say to me like, oh well, how are you gonna differentiate yourself from Fenty? And it was just like the most irritating thing to hear because I don't understand why the world has to see it as there can only be one brand that stands for inclusivity. Because the reality is every brand should stand for that. Like it doesn't make sense to me to hear that. Like it drove me bonkers. I was like, did you ask Laura Mercier how her and Bobby Brown coexisted? Like there's a million brands founded by people that aren't people of color. Why can't we all coexist? The lesson being, do you? The next product I'm gonna use, which I cannot believe I have never used in a video on my channel, is the Live Tinted Hue Stick in Found. So this Hue Stick is our first ever true multi-stick. That was just one swipe, it's so creamy, you guys. For anyone who got our original Hue Sticks and says that the Found shade is more creamy, the reality is it actually is more creamy, but it's not a different formula. It's just that it has less white pigments in it. When you have more white pigments in a product, it makes it a little more on the, I guess, drier side, but that actually worked out for our original products because to work as a color corrector, you do need them to be a little dry to set on your face. But this one it ended up becoming creamier just naturally and we ended up falling in love with it because it's just a multi-stick. I could do this all day. It's so creamy. I love it as my blush. She's so creamy. She's so layerable. The second this sold out, we've been trying to like get this back into production because it was gonna just be a limited edition run and we had no idea it would sell out that quickly. And then we were like, oh crap, we gotta make this a part of like our collection. But I will leave the link down below for you to sign up for the waitlist, if not for the site, so you can buy it or get on the waitlist. I promise you we're working really hard. But yeah, I mean, it's cool because if you go on our social or on our site, it just looks completely different on every skin tone, but in the best way. It's so rare to find a color that like can work for so many different people and look so pretty. And of course, it has eye safe pigments. We got it ophthalmologist tested, so it is safe to use around your eyes, which is not the case for most multi-sticks when you hear people say, that you can use them on your eyes. They're actually not, they actually don't have safe ingredients to use on your eyes, but ours does. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favorite eyeliners right now, which is the Persona eyeliners. Sona is a friend of mine who's the founder of Persona, and I'm just also really impressed with her brand and everything she's built, you guys. like. The quality of her glosses and her liners, I mean, honestly, everything. These are so creamy and delicious that like I actually use them more than the ones that twist up. So I'm just gonna take this and apply it to my waterline. I'm gonna use her black, which again is so creamy. It's 24 hour waterproof, but right when you put it on, it actually is creamy enough to smudge out, but then it stays in place all day. And for me, it's not an exact science. It's never a perfect line. I don't know how to do a perfect line for the life of me, but that's okay because I'm just trying to create a smudged out look anyways. Next, I'm gonna go in using this Mented Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. So I don't use eyeshadow palettes. They freak me out, they stress me out. I don't know what to do with them. These colors though, and the Mented one, which is founded by two beautiful black women who went to Harvard Business School and created this brand that's all about high rich pigmented products. 
This eyeshadow palette has all the neutrals that I love in my life. What I do want to show you is how I use it also as a highlighter. I also love how big the panels are, right? That's pretty dope. Look at that glow. Last but not least, I'm going to go in with mascara, and this one is from Honest Beauty, which is founded by Jessica Alba, another major girl boss female that has been so supportive of my career, and it doesn't even make sense to me because, you know, like, she doesn't really need to, but she's just a kind person who's just kind of, like, wants to support other women entrepreneurs, and it literally means the world. This mascara is really cool because it has a primer and a mascara on two different ends. I'm not usually a person who likes to mess with multiple ended products and stuff like that. It's like, why can't primer and mascara just be in one? But check out the difference this makes. I'll show you guys. I'm putting on the primer first. So, <laughs> this situation is why I think the primer's worth it. This is pretty crazy, you guys. So this is with the Honest Beauty Mascara, and this is without. Mascara is such a game changer. It's crazy. And last, I am going to go in with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist, my absolute favorite. It just gives your skin that glow. I go through this like crazy. You can see that's all that's left. And the founder, oh, and it smells so good too. I wear it under makeup, over makeup, with no makeup. Just let it sit into your skin. And Vicky from Tatcha um, is the founder, and she is also another incredible woman um, who has been so supportive of my career, you guys, like taking hours on like midnight calls just because that's the only time she has free with her kids and her family. And oh yeah, this massive company that she just sold to Unilever to just advise me. Like building a company is really hard and she's given me really great advice on team building, product development, and like how to just like cope with the stress that comes with all of this and has been very honest with me. The best advice she gave me was that stressful life is just a part of this job, but like, the reality is that like you're also building something incredible. And I think that message has stayed true to me and it was such great advice from somebody so successful and built a brand that I admire so much and use in my life. The cleansing oil man is a part of my day to day. And this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I just feel like it's really important to do more videos highlighting women of color, creating their own beauty brands. It's important that we all stick together. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know down below any products that you guys love that are founded by women of color. And maybe I'll make this like a regular thing that I do every few months, you know? So um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.